So we know that Cutco is the most popular and the best brand to own, but inevitably the people coming in our stores that maybe don't own Cutco uh, and have owned something else for many, many years, they don't understand the differences between Cutco and what they own. And in order to pay that higher price, they're gonna need to know. So this video is to educate you just a little bit on the uh, major differences uh, between uh, one brand versus the other, and really just what separates Cutco uh, from the rest of the pack. Um, you don't need to know much about individual brands other than they're going to break down into one of three categories. The first category, of course, is your lowest end, your junk, um, and they're going to be the cheapest knives per set, but they're actually the most expensive for the customer uh, to ever own. And the reason for that is because they're gonna have to buy those over and over and over again. And over their lifetime, that's gonna be a lot more money than they would ever spend on a higher end brand, a quality brand like Cutco. And maybe getting that point across uh, is certainly an important part of what you wanna do. But for the purposes of, of this message and your future in Cutco stores, there's not a lot you need to know. Uh, wood handles are bad, they're extremely unsanitary. Brass rivets, uh, especially in wood handles uh, are a recipe for disaster. Carbon steel blades are going to stay sharp the longest, but they're those really dirty, rusty looking ones. Stainless steel is the opposite. It, it's going to look the nicest, but it's a really soft metal. It will get an edge really fast, but it'll lose it just as fast as it got it. It's a soft metal, um, so it doesn't hold an edge, uh, but it looks nice. And then as we get to Cutco, you'll understand that there are combinations of in between, but for most low end, it's either carbon steel or stainless steel blades. It's either wood handles, which are unsanitary, or plastic, which melt uh, and break, uh, and are just really cheap. I mean, these are the knives that are a couple bucks at the store. The sets are you know, $40, $50. Uh, they're not very expensive, and we don't need to waste our time even comparing to those. Um, the brands you might uh, hear or think about uh, are things like Ginsu, Miracle Blade, um, you know, Calphalon, uh, just, yeah, anything you can find at Walmart and Kmart. Then you've got kind of sort of your middle brands, um, like maybe Chicago Cutlery or, um, you know, Summit, like a Williams Sonoma uh, on the middle to lower end. And these are going to be more in the couple hundred bucks uh, range. But again, it, it's a nicer quality than what the uh, initial, uh, those smaller brands will initially give you, but you're still gonna buy those over and over and over and over again. And then there's your higher end brand uh, that we compare to like uh, Hinkles, uh, Woo Stuff, Shun, um, you know, and, and you're gonna, f our consumers are gonna find those at higher end stores like Williams Sonoma, uh, Sur La Table, um, you know, maybe even Bed Bath & Beyond with some of those brands. We've gotten away from comparing to Hinkle's because they used to be the high-end name, but they started doing more licensing deals. There's skewed qualities of Hinkle's in the, in, the, uh, in the market now. So we really try to just compare to Shun and Wustoff because these are of the highest quality steel handles um, and the craftsmanship that goes into them. Some of them even have overkill um, lines of their series. As an example, there's um, Damascus steel blades that can literally go for multiple hundreds of dollars per knife. And while they are certainly quality and they are certainly uh, you know a beautiful piece, it would be like driving a Ferrari on a gravel road. It's just complete overkill, uh, and it's more than what uh, people need. Cutco is the perfect balance of high quality, performance, engineering, and ingenuity uh, all put together in a practical form that, oh, by the way, is guaranteed forever. And so when comparing Cutco to other brands, really what you want to focus on is the materials that they're made out of, which Cutco has the best, the craftsmanship that goes into them, uh, as an example, the handle design. Uh, the uniqueness of the double D edge and the universal wedge lock handle, 
um, the craftsmanship, you know, of um, some of the blades. You know, we have a few somewhat unique styles. Um, and then thirdly is just the fact that we are the only uh, brand, one of the only products in the world of any type that has a forever guarantee. So in comparison to the lower end brands and the middle brands, just the quality alone, that first segment, completely wipes those out. And then in comparing to the other high end brands, you know, we have a better design, a more unique design, a patented design. Uh, we guaranteed forever, and oh, by the way, it's also made here in the United States, which we will continue to sharpen, fix, and replace your knives forever. And in a lot of cases, by the way, we are cheaper, if not roughly in the same ballpark, depending on what line, what series you're looking at. But the short version of it is that Cutco, uh, while expensive initially, is the cheapest set of knives somebody will ever own because it's the only set of knives they'll ever have to buy ever again. Any other brand, $20, $200, $2,000, they're gonna have to buy over and over and over again, and it will cost them way more in the long run than just investing and buying one quality set that is guaranteed to last them the rest of their life.